Getting the best armor in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is not particularly difficult, but if you want to get the truly best armor, you will need to focus on upgrading these armors in the item transmitter. That means spending time unlocking everything it has to offer. I'm going over the location of the best armors and how to upgrade them in game. Now the best armors in game are the Valkyrian Bangle found in the Nidhogg Grotto Cache in the Nibble region. The Cetron Bangle and Cetron Armband are also the best but can't be found until chapter 13. But many players, myself included, want to finish the game before doing the ending, and so you will need good gear in the meantime. Besides, those armors will only cover two of your seven team members, and so for the most part, you will be using the armors we're about to mention for the majority of the end game. So then, those armors are called the Varvados Bracelet for magic resistance and the Garm Bangle for physical resistance. You equip either one depending on the type of enemy you're facing. They are not hard to come by, you simply purchase them from the vendor in Nibelheim as soon as it becomes available in Chapter 11. The general store lady will have them. If you're looking for the one with the most materia slots, then the Eastrasil armlet can be crafted in the item transmitter once you're a certain level. So that is the best armors, and like I said, they're not too difficult to get, but they're not available until later in the game. So you will just have to equip what you come across until you get to Chapter 11. Now to get the better versions of these, you need to upgrade them, and to do this, you need to unlock the blueprint, so to speak, in the item transmitter, and there are two ways to unlock stuff. First is to craft one of every item, and this will give you XP and you level up. This requires a ton of materials, and so you will need to pick up every item you come across as you play the game in the open world, and once you reach a higher level in the item transmitter, say between 10 and 15, you're going to struggle to have enough materials to craft things, and so you will have to start farming for materials after that. And the easiest way to farm things is here in Nebel. This area here near the start is where you will find different material types you need, including the hardest to get item, the Cosmetite Ore. But all types of wood, ore and grace that you need for crafting all the higher level stuff is found in this very small area. Once you've run it and picked up everything, you can simply save, reload and repeat as everything will respawn and you can gather what you need pretty quick, except for the Cosmetite Ore which is super rare. If you're not in Nebel yet, this method will of course work in any region, but the rarer ingredients are only found here. But if you're looking to farm stuff to craft some other things earlier in the game or you're looking to make some cash, this is a perfect method. Now the second way to unlock things is to find excavation sites. To do this, you first activate all the towers in a region. Once that is done, you can find and activate all the wellsprings. Doing so will get Chadley to mark new excavation sites on your map, and there are 10 of them to find. Two are found in the Grassland region, one in Junon, two in Coral, two in Gongaga, two in Cosmo Canyon, and one in Nebel. They can't be found by simply going to them on the map, However, and you do need to find the wellsprings first in order to unlock them. Once you've done that though, you can head to the site and use your chocobo to sniff out the artifacts and finding them will unlock new armors and upgrades in your transmitter. You need to find all 10 of them in order to unlock the three armor upgrades we mentioned earlier for the best armors, the Garm, Barbados and Eastrasil. Now to upgrade them, you require the armor piece itself, which you can buy, or the Easter cell you will need to craft, and then you will need either exquisite beast spines or hides, and fortunately they're not too hard to get. The enemies in Nebel will drop them often, you simply need to farm them until you have enough in order to upgrade your armor pieces. As for what's the best accessory, that is subjective, but you can't go wrong with an upgraded riot vest that adds 10% increase to vitality, which lowers your damage taken, plus adds 500 health but really it's not as important as what's the best armor. So that is how to find the best armor in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and how to enhance the armors to their highest level so you can survive the more difficult boss fights in game. It takes a while to do to upgrade the item transmitter and it requires a lot of materials that you need to farm, but in the end it is worth it. Guys, like and subscribe for more useful guides and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.